Hello, tis I. If you don't know, animation meme drama is a thing that, uh, first of all, it's a thing. Second of all, it's a thing that goes around very fast, meaning that you have a very small window of time to be able to speak about it before everyone else has already spoken about it. And uh, if you know anything about me, you'd know that I like to talk about things that aren't talked about a bunch. I like to talk about things that uh, is more unique. And a lot of the time when I do talk about something that isn't unique, I have a unique opinion on it. Um, pretty much everything that I've talked about is shit that hasn't really been talked about on YouTube much. Um, like, in fact, the first ever commentary video I did, which you can find in the, in a playlist, uh, on my page, uh, of all my commentary videos, my first ever commentary video was on a Friday Night Funkin' drama that literally no one has had talked about. Nobody, other than some people being stupid and having a dumb mentality about the situation on TikTok. And that's what I was talking about. Um, so, I am always, I'm usually the first to talk about situations on YouTube. Uh, because I'm cool like that. No, but um, I just don't like to talk about things that have been talked about a shit ton. Because it's boring. I don't want to talk about the same shit everyone talks about. I'm not like other girls. No, I'm joking. But um... I like to, um, I like to talk about shit that is more, like, that, that's less known. Uh, and the reason for that is, like I said, you know, it gets boring. But also, I have the strong and firm belief that if somebody has already talked about a situation and you want to make a video on it, and you don't have anything new to put to the table, not, no unique opinion, no extra evidence, no, uh, no extra proof, you know, no extra, you know, nothing else to add to the situation, don't, just don't, because that's what starts a game of animation meme drama telephone, or just drama in general telephone, like, a good example of this, uh, is the Creepshow art drama, um, it happens a lot in the art community where people just make videos repeatedly on people for no fucking reason. Um, but, uh, everyone made a video on Creepshow Art. Everyone. If you look up Creepshow Art, you get, you'll get, like, hundreds of fucking videos. And that's a problem. Because I really fucking hate it when people use serious dramas for their own gain, which it's very obvious that the people talking about it use it for their own gain, what, whether it's monetary gain, or attention, or validation, or whatever the fuck. But a lot of these people, they don't have new evidence, they don't have a new opinion, they don't have nuance to add to the situation, they just have their need to be like everyone else. And I think that's annoying, and... In some cases, it can cause a game of internet telephone, and a game of internet telephone is a game that we should not be playing. So, you may be wondering, why am I talking about all this? Well, this drama is kind of the opposite. Nobody has fucking talked about it. You want to know who has? Two people. Two of them. So, because I would prefer that, uh, you know people talking about uh this with nuance instead of just saying this person bad for insert reasons here with no discussion no nuance just this person bad call out kind of video because i don't want youtube to be flooded with those kinds of videos about this person despite what they're doing being pretty bad I want there to be nuance in this situation. So that's why Mushroom Girl is here to save the day. Uh, and by save the day, I'm gonna actually thoroughly talk about the situation, the nuances of it, and all that. Uh, because I fucking hate it when people just make call-out videos like, This person bad, here's some screenshots. 
oh my god, and the comments is full of people like, oh my god, I can't believe they did this. Um, because I feel like those videos are just kind of annoying, uh, whether what they're saying is true. I just find it annoying. So I want to have a nuanced discussion about the situation, uh, and I want to have that discussion before everyone can start posting videos screeching about how terrible this person is with no nuance. Um, so, uh, without further ado, let it, let's formally get on to what actually happened and all of that, because you guys are probably very confused right now, not knowing the context of this situation. So, let me, uh, let me explain. Flickr is an animation meme YouTuber who got quite popular for their uh, very unique style. At the time of recording this, he is at 42.9k subscribers, though I'm sure that will drop because of this situation. Now, it was discovered that this YouTuber had a not safe for work Twitter account. Now, I'm pretty sure this account has since been privated because I actually went to look up the account and all I could find were people adding the account, talking about how disappointed they were, and I clicked on the at, and it didn't, it, there was no account there. So I'm assuming that it was either deleted, or it was privated. I'm pretty sure it was privated, because people were saying that it was privated, but I don't know. It was deleted, privated, something, but you can't find the account anymore unless you were following it of course um so this account had uh some interesting art uh the first thing people t took notice of was that there was fetish art of the uh urine variety on that uh account uh and there seemed to be a f quite a lot of it um and, uh, that's not the issue here, obviously. I, I don't give a shit if he's into piss, who fucking cares. Um, on this account, there was also some art that, uh, this person drew of them and their brother. Um, do I need to say anything more for you to put two and two together? Now, I want you all to keep in mind that uh, Flickr did have an explanation for this, uh, a pretty weak one, it's not very good of, like, a, a strong, ex it's not a very strong explanation, but it's an explanation nonetheless, and we'll get into that later. There was also a drawing that was retweeted by, uh, Flickr of, um, two characters doing NSFW stuff, obviously, it's an NSFW account, um, but the thing with that is that allegedly, this is alleged, I'm not going to say this as if it's fact, I have no evidence, uh, and I don't like the fact that I can't get any evidence because the account has been deleted, but, um, apparently those characters are lollies. Um, I have no proof, nobody has shown proof of the characters being minors other than pointing to the drawing and being like, oh my god, look, they retweeted lolly shit. Guys, oh my gosh. I, so I, yeah, I kind of, like, I am operating under the assumption that they are not minors until I get proven that the characters are minors. Um, but there is more. There is also a retweeted drawing, uh, by Flickr of a child and when i say child i mean baby like li little baby infant toddler thing um peeing in like a you know sexual way it even had an nsfw tag on it and this drawing was not drawn by Flickr. obviously this was a retweeted drawing same with the last one um other than the incest, uh, this person hadn't, hasn't drawn, from what I know, hasn't drawn any artwork of the CP nature. Maybe they have, and it was just 
conveniently not stated in either of the videos, but it seems like this has just been stuff that they support and not draw themselves, which, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't excuse it. I'm just saying that they don't, that, uh, because, uh, in the kitty dog situation, uh, some shit got misunderstood when it came to retweeting art and drawing art, I want to make that clear that the, um, all the drawings that I've mentioned that have been invo possibly involving or involving minors have not been drawn by Flickr. I want to, I want that to be kept in mind. So, that's what's going on. That's a whole situation other than three videos which we will be talking about so we're gonna be talking about the first video talking about the situation the second video talking about the situation which was inspired by the first and Flickr's apology slash clarification slash whatever the fuck you want to call it so let's get right into it talking about Flickr and what Flickr has done are mediocre at best. The two videos in question are the only two videos that exist about the situation other than Flicky, Fli Flicky, other than Flickr's, other than Flickr's apology. So, uh, let's, uh, let's talk about the first and second video. This isn't usually the type of video I'd usually make, but I don't care, I can't just let this kind of stuff just be ignored. This video is about a user known as Flickr. An animation member who's been rising in popularity lately, due to his unique style. A friend of mine recently informed me about his NSFW account, where he posts and retweets extremely foul shit like furry lolly art and BFB piss art. The main thing that got my attention was how he posted incest art of his persona and his own brother's persona, which I don't have to explain why that's disgusting as hell. He also retweeted toddler con piss art, which is absolutely fucking foul. It makes me sick to my stomach knowing this seco has a platform, one full of children at that. I hope to god this video doesn't flop, cause this shit is disgusting, and if it goes under the radar I'm going to lose my mind. Anyways bye lol. So, the that's the first video talking about the situation. Now, the video isn't terrible. It it does what it needs to do, but I feel like when it comes to shit like this, instead of just mindlessly calling people out in, because of a sense of urgency, they should talk about the nuances of the situation. And there was very little, like, actual, you know, commentary uh, in the video, and it was just, oh my god, this person did this with screenshots and then okay bye you know and i don't really like those kinds of videos i think that they're just they don't do much like like i i understand but i do think that it would be a lot more beneficial for people to actually sit down and spend their time to make a commentary video talk about their opinion talk about shit that's been discovered give nuances shit like that i personally think that the best thing to do is that. Even if the person is seemingly doing very disgusting things, I think that it's still beneficial. I really do. Which is why I'm making this video instead of just letting a bunch of dumb little kids talk about the situation in a very stupid and immature way, and nothing is going to get done. Also, um... Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think the incest art was actually on the Twitter account. It seems to be on a different website, and my brain just kind of seemed to think, oh, it's on the Twitter account, but I don't think it is. I'm not 100% sure. Um, maybe it was. I don't know. But, um, if the original creator of this video, um, or anyone who has seen this post, uh, if anybody has that information and maybe has, like, less cropped, more, uh, better screenshots, that'd be very nice. Um, but, yeah, uh, whatever website it was on doesn't really matter, doesn't really change the fact that incest isn't the best thing to be drawing. Now, I actually want to go through all the screenshots in this video because I think that going through them and unlike what this person did being extremely specific and less vague uh because i do think that one of the issues is the fact that this person's video is extremely short and vague i want to in detail talk about these what 
is going on, I guess, and my, what I can tell about what's go, like, what the situation is, how bad it is, shit like that. So, let's actually break down the screenshots. Now, those two things that I want to talk about, about this first screenshot, uh, which is, if you can't tell, art by somebody seemingly named Ollie, I can't speak, um, that, uh, Flickr retweeted, and, uh, if you actually go to read this screenshot, from what I can tell, there is nothing in there showing that, uh, the characters in that artwork are lollies, or are minors. There is nothing there that is proving that those characters are underage. And I'm not saying that the characters aren't. There might be proof out there on that account that the characters are in fact lollies. There could be. But I do think that should have been shown in this video. And that's kind of... It's kind of fucking annoying that this person did not put that information in there if they had it. Um... Because you need to actually prove that the characters that this person's supporting are lollies. Because if you can't prove that, then, you know, your argument doesn't really work. Of this person retweeted lolly art. If, if you can't prove that it's lolly art, you don't have a case there. You don't have anything. You, you don't have a case there, basically. Um, but, uh... Let's say that there is proof out there that these characters are lollies. You need to now prove that Flickr was aware that these characters were lollies. Now, seeing as this, seeing as Flickr retweeted uh, artwork of a baby in an inappropriate way, um, I would not be surprised if he was aware. But I do think that you should have still showed some kind of evidence that uh, that Flickr was aware of the characters' ages. Uh, because this was, this could, uh, if we kind of remove the whole baby art thing that we're going to talk about in a bit, um, this could be a situation similar to what Kitty Dog went through. Well, Kitty Dog uh, liked a tweet that was... Um, of Sanrio characters in sexual situations, and Kitty Dog didn't actually know the Sanrio characters' ages and the fact that Sanrio characters are supposed to be little kids. Um, it might be a situation like that. Then again, I doubt it, personally, but that ha- that should be something that you should probably think about. It's something that you should probably consider instead of taking the most, the least charitable approach. That's what I'm saying. That's what I think of that first screenshot. Now, this is apparently a fan art for the person that was uh, just mentioned. The person who drew the artwork that we just discussed. Um, So, I'm going to make the same argument that I made uh, for the last post. Did Flickr know that the person that... He drew fan art for was a lollycon. Did this person know that? Because the answer might be no. I doubt it, but the answer might be no. And you cannot villainize this person for drawing fan art of somebody that he didn't know was a lollycon. So you need to prove that this person somehow knew that that the person who they were drawing fan art for was a lollycon. And the way you do that is finding a screenshot um, of, you know, uh, the way you prove, the way you, the way you go about proving that is getting a screenshot of Flickr retweeting or replying to or liking artwork from that artist, or a tweet from that artist, that says that the characters are underage, or that says that they are a lollycon, or that they like lolly artwork. That would be sufficient proof 
for that. Just saying, this person drew fan art for a bad person is not, is not a case on its own. It only becomes an actual thing. Like, it only becomes something you can actually uh, get mad at someone for when you know that they know somebody has done something. Okay, so this next drawing is literally just piss fetish art. I actually looked up the age of the character that's in there, which is two from BFB, and um, I got nothing. There's no, there's no, there doesn't seem to be any canon age for this character. So, unless this character, which I've never watched, I've never seen the content that this character is in, so keep that in mind. Maybe there's something that like explicitly states that this character is a minor, but that should have been stated and proved in the video. Uh, so, if there is proof that this character is a minor, that is something that the, um, that the, you know, person should have showed. Um, but, who fucking cares? It's piss art. Oh no, fetish art. It's not like we see that a lot on the internet, and it's just, a, it's, it's just a normal part of the fucking internet. People draw weird fetish art. Who cares, as long as it's not involving minors or incestual relationships. Who fucking cares? Okay, so this one actually has some, you know, good proof to it. And you know what? I applaud this person for that. Great job on doing the bare minimum by actually showing and proving that this character is in fact supposed to be Flicker's brother. Thank you for actually giving that proof. I shouldn't ha I shouldn't be saying thank you right now because you know it should be the bare fucking minimum for commentators to show this kind of evidence for every single point they make. But you know what? We'll give this person a little applause for it. I'm feeling nice today. So I have no idea what website this artwork was posted on, but it seems like like I don't know what this little green box is supposed to be. I'm not 100% sure what the green box is but it seems to be some kind of description or like tag description for the drawing uh which if it is which i'm assuming that's what it is there should have been a bit more context there but if that's what it is then yeah this is very obviously incest it says incest in the fucking tags it says bro it says brothers and incest like yeah and this is something that heavily contradicts something that uh flicker actually says in his apology which we will be talking about uh so yeah now this next thing is um what i would argue is probably the worst of what flicker has done um it's one thing to retweet art of characters that might be underage it's one thing to draw you and your brother getting a little too close. But this is where it really becomes indefensible. Like, for God fucking sake, it even has an NSFW tag on it, so you can't even argue, oh, it was cropped wrong to villainize this person. No, it's just straight up baby porn. It's just baby piss art, and that's not okay. It's not. And I want everyone... To know that it's not okay. It's not. <laughs> and there's no way I can be like, oh, well, actually, maybe. Because of the NSFW tag. There's literally nothing I can do to defend Flickr on this. Like, all we can do, especially when it comes to this, is um, hope that Flickr uh, changes and gets, you know help from a professional that's really all we can um hope for here we can't like this this isn't really defensible you know i think that if you have a thing for babies whether you want to admit it or not that's something you should get help for i and i'm gonna talk more about that near the end of this video um but yeah so, I'm gonna play the second video now, and then talk about my problems with it, because in my opinion, the second video 
it's just a lot worse than the first and it just wasn't really needed. Hello everyone, today I will be telling you why you shouldn't support Flickr. First of all, let me introduce this certain animator. Flickr, a furry artist and animator who recently got popular from his unique style. But most people don't know the sad truth. He has gotten to comfortable on the internet and started posting inappropriate art. This art contained Nuss Wubbly with minors, which is honestly messed up. Here is some art that is inappropriate and shouldn't be shared online. 2. This could be disturbing for some viewers. If you think that's it, you're wrong, he has included his own brother in this stuff. This is just cruel and disgusting. Here are some comments found. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. So, if you paid attention, you could probably tell the big difference between the last video and this video, and that is, this video has misinformation and is overall just a worse version of the last video. Um, because fun fact, none of the artwork that this person showed involved kids. None of it did. N none of it. It was just the incest and the piss art, and that that was it. But let's actually break down the misinformation in this video. He has gotten to comfortable on the internet and started posting inappropriate art. This art contained Nuss Wubbly with minors, which is honestly messed up. As you can see, this person very clearly states, Flickr drew not safe for work of minors, when that is not true. Flickr retweeted NSFW art of minors. Here is some art that is inappropriate and shouldn't be shared online. Two, this could be disturbing for some viewers. Another thing that I really dislike about this video is the fact that this person seems to think that having a piss fetish is, you know, the same level of bad as wanting to fuck your brother, which, um, you poor sweet child, I understand, porn is icky piss fetish icky but that does not change the fact that the more important thing we should be talking about here is the incest and the retweeting of um baby fetish art the fetish this person having a p piss fetish isn't a big deal it's not something we should be sharing as if oh my god this person's terrible who cares as long as they're drawing or retweeting adult characters who cares? If you think that's it, you're wrong. He has included his own brother in this stuff. This is just cruel and disgusting. As you can see, this person's very obviously confused and does not know what this drawing implies. Um, fun fact, uh, to the person who made this video, because I'm sure they'll be watching this, um, that drawing was... Flicker and their brother, meaning that that was the incest that, you know, the other person was referring to, which is why that should have been accompanying the, the screenshot of the death row meme and the green box, meaning that you, your screenshot placement makes absolutely no sense, and I guess you just picked random screenshots to throw on the screen for the sake of putting them on the screen, hoping that people would be able to connect the dots, which, no. This is why this video is a lot worse than the last one. Like, the last one, I personally don't like it, but it, like, it gets the job done. It, 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 it's actually giving the right information, despite being just a little dumb and a bit just, like, there's not really much commentary. But this is just blatantly confusing everyone. Like, really. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the, uh... The screenshot of the description of the death row meme doesn't prove anything unless it has the actual incestual drawing accompanying it. Therefore, your screenshot placement makes absolutely no fucking sense. And if I watched this video before I watched the other one, I would be so fucking confused. I feel like this person was on like autopilot when they wrote the script for this video. Because like, how is it cruel like what makes what what makes incest like drawing incestual art cruel like like i'm not saying it's not bad but why would that be the word you describe it with oh no how
how dare someone have a piss kink? I'm gonna die. And before you say that they were talking about the pedophilia, pedophilia isn't a fetish, it's a paraphilia. Look it up. So that was the second video. I wanted to talk a bit more about it just because um, it had a lot of misinformation and just stupid shit implying that, you know, having a fetish is the same as wanting to diddle kids. Fictional kids, but still, you get my point. Because we all know that participating in some good old water sports is the exact same as being a lollycon. But uh, remember somewhere in this video, I can't remember, when I mentioned that Flickr made an apology? Well, we're gonna talk about that now. Now, I'm gonna be pretty, you know, I'm gonna be pretty, uh, blunt. His apology really fucking sucked. Um, I think that Flickr really could have done better. Um, Flickr could have done better, uh, and I, this, a lot of this video is me trying to hopefully maybe get Flickr's attention and be like, hey Flickr, watch this video, this is how you can improve yourself, and I'm not gonna scream and yell at you, because I'll talk about it more, but I think that, um, the way that people I know are going to handle this situation isn't going to help anyone, and I'm gonna talk about that in my conclusion after we break down this apology. So, let's get on to that. Also, I do want everyone to be aware that English is very obviously not this person's first language, meaning that a lot of the stuff that this person says is in broken English, which means that I might misinterpret what, uh, what this person's saying. So, just keep that in mind. I may accidentally misinterpret a sentence. Um, I'm obviously not meaning to. I'm just trying to interpret it in a way that makes sense to me. But um, if I misinterpret it, I'm sorry about that. But I guess I will just be talking about my interpretation. If any of you guys have your own interpretation of the apology, let me know in the comments. Respectfully. <laughs> World. I am sure all of you have seen the recent call-out video. This is genuine response from myself to clarify what is not true, what I have done, and what I can do about it. Yes, I do have a secondary account. Initially used for sharing NSFW works of mine. Some people accused me of being a pro-ship, lowly, toddler con, pedophile, and incest. That is not true, I did not intentionally partake, support, or have any interest in children and sibling sexualization. Now, I can tell that this is a lie, and I can tell that because first of all, this person, um... This person retweeted a tweet of a baby peeing in a sexual way with NSFW tags. And two, there is literally incest and brother tags and all that shit on the incestual drawing. About the art of my rabbit character mating with a fox, in which all of you think that it is my brother. But it is not true as a whole. I do said that they are a vague representation of my siblings. What are those tags on the drawing then? What 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 is this? What is this? What is what is this? Most of my characters are based from people I know. I always take some reference and draw inspiration from real life people, oftentimes mixing their personality, physical appearance, and traits to build a character. So that is what I mean when I said Riss is a vague representation of my brother. Not vague enough to not call it incest though. I just created him from some two of my brother traits, mix and match it to create a whole new character based from both of them. They are their own, they have nothing to do with reflecting sexual desire or anything towards my brother. I mean, I don't really think that you have a thing for your brother, but you very obviously have a thing for incest in general, seeing as you, you know, had to put incest and brother tags onto your artwork, making that seemingly part of the appeal of the artwork that it's two characters that are related. I never have any interest in romantic or sexual relationship with my family member. Some other people also said that even if I am not, they said that I still support and normalize a pedophile and incest by liking, sharing, and even creating some art myself. Now this person may possibly be admitting that they have in fact drawn, you know, pedophilia artwork, which if they have, that that's fucking, you know, that's not fucking good. But they might also not and be might be talking about the incest art. I don't fucking know. Um. 
I admit liking and sharing some art with fictional character in that content before I know that doing so is a part of support, as I never intended to support pedophile and incest in the first place. So I think what Flickr is saying here is that he didn't realize that, um, supporting artwork of fictional characters, fictional minor characters in sexual situations was supporting real pedophilia. That's what this seems to be saying. Maybe I might be, that might be wrong, that might be right, I don't know, but that's what I think that's saying. And honestly, it's not like, you know, dep it depends on this person's age. If this is a 16 year old, then yeah, that's really fucking understandable. Despite it still not being good, it's understandable. But, you know, if it's a fucking 30 year old, then that's different because 30 year olds should know better. It depends on this person's age. Flickr's age is very important, which is why I'm not giving a con concrete, is this a good, is this a good excuse, is this not, because I don't have a, I don't have an age for this person, which does, you know, actually make a lot of difference on how harsh we should be with this person, because, you know, as we know, teenagers don't have fully developed brains, 30 year olds do so you know while you know it's bad and it's bad and they should be held accountable no matter what it is a bit more understandable if they're a teenager i already know the difference between any kind of a minor and incest depiction of a real person in visual media that are obviously illegal and frowned upon and what kind of art that could be considered a proper normal art piece but i did not know where to put some more questionable content in between because there was still a big gray area in my moral compass. You know, I this is understandable. I understand this. I think that this, it makes sense because, you know, people, most people see art as all being neutral. So it's very hard to find out which art is quote unquote good and which art is quote unquote bad. So I understand this. This is understandable. Like, as long as they aren't using it as like an, oh, I'm free of all charges, lol. It's not, you know, I understand mentioning this. I understand this mentality. Like, this doesn't excuse what they did, but it explains it. So, being a naive person I was back then, I heard some people said fictional character is okay, but some other people said it is not. For the people who can't really understand what uh, Flickr is trying to say here, I'm pretty sure that Flickr is trying to say that, um, kind of Flickr saw the, uh, they saw the whole, like, lollycon debate and wh whether lollycon was good or bad. It were kind of, like, like, really stumped on it, didn't know which side to take. That's what I'm kind of, uh, that's what I'm kind of seeing from this, if I'm correct. I did not know which one was right and wrong. It is unfortunate for me that I was heavily influenced by the former. I will not defend myself and making excuses, because now I realized what I have done up to yesterday is disgustingly wrong. I will not expect for forgiveness, as I will never forgive myself for it. Thank to you all for teaching me an important lesson for me to learn from this experience. Now I know better for which one is right and which one is actually wrong. I am aware that I cannot unspill the milk and go back in time to teach myself about it earlier. But I can decide how should I change myself to be right now. So I promise, I will try my best to change to be a better person from now on, as I should be. I think that a lot of what Flickr is saying is actually understandable, and I think a lot of this apology is actually decent, like really. It's better than some other apologies I've seen, but it really just gets ruined by the whole, like, oh, I, you know, the character, the, the character that's, you know, I tagged as incest when I drew point of them wasn't actually supposed to be incest, guys. That was what ruined this. The lying is what ruined this. It really was. It's not that hard to actually find... It's actually, it's not that hard to get proof to disprove that i don't know why this person thought they could lie their way out of it when you know there's in the video you watched there was proof that you you know specifically the incest was part of the appeal of the drawing and whether you're actually into your brother or not doesn't matter what matters is whether you meant to make it incestual which is very obvious unless that screenshot was taken out of context that you did, and if that screenshot was, you should have addressed that in the video, I feel like. You really should have. Because, from what I can tell, it's not because of the 
because if you can actually look from this screenshot, there's a very slight green border, uh, which is the same green, which is the same green that's on the tags thing, uh, implying that, um, you know, they're in the same social media, in the same post, and with the Flickr uh, tag, it very, it, you know, it's, it's pretty obvious that the screenshot isn't taken out of context, but even if it is, let's say it is, maybe. If it is, then I think that Flickr should let us know that, or somebody else who is able to, you know, untake it out of context, um, could do that. But for now, I'm going to believe the screenshot until I get proof otherwise, because it seems, it seems like a real screenshot, you know... I don't think this person would just lie about Flickr for no reason. Like, there's no big drama surrounding Flickr, so it's not, you know, the drama is, like, barely started, so. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get on to my conclusion. Most people would expect a conclusion about a situation like this to be, oh my god, you're disgusting, leave leave your platform right now. But no, that's not what I want to, um, that's not what I want to get across. I want to give across a genuine, uh, very, um, important message that I think everyone should listen to, everyone, especially if you're a commentator. Not even if you're a commentator who wants to talk about this drama or who, or who has. If you're just a commentator who makes videos on situations similar to this, I want you to listen up. Especially, and I especially want Flickr to listen up because this is very important and I want everyone to hear this. I want everyone to hear this and maybe they can apply it to other situations because I see the way people um, talk about certain situations that are similar to this in a way that isn't helping anyone, and I want to talk about the situation in a way that is actually helpful, in a way that might actually change things, and might actually do some good, because insulting somebody isn't going to do shit. Now, I want everyone, especially Flickr, to know that the most beneficial thing that Flickr can do in this moment is get professional help, really. And if Flickr already has professional help, then they need to tell their professional about these paraphilias and about these, like, not okay desires because that's the only way that this is going to be, like, th that's the only way that this person can truly not have these desires is if they get professional help about it. So that's what I want, um, that's what I want Flickr to do, really, honestly. I'm encouraging Flickr right now to get a therapist, if possible, or just get any, anybody, any professional who can help with the situation. Because, yeah, obviously nobody wants to fucking admit that they're into, you know, the kind of things that, um that this person is into nobody wants to go out and say yeah i'm into babies yeah i'm into uh i'm into incest nobody wants to go out of their way and say that nobody wants to do that at all that's it like nobody wants to do that but you know lying to your audience about you not intending for something to be incest that was very obviously stated to be incest is not going to help you. It's not. It's not going to help Flickr at all. It's not. And I don't, and I think that people should stop with this whole, like, screaming at people who are, like, gross mentality because I think that people yelling at, um, Flickr saying you better change and blah 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 isn't helping it's saying oh my god you're so gross and you're so terrible for having these pedophilias which 
I agree with, but I think the way people are going about saying it is just gonna make is just gonna make them not want to talk about their pedophilias, and that might seem good, but then you realize that that means that they won't go to a professional, which is what it, which is literally, from what I know, the only way that these pedophilias can be, you know, helped. So, like, really, that's just all I ask of you guys to not go about, you know, not go about making videos on Flickr in the way that people make videos about other people who do similar things, saying how disgusting and degenerate and terrible they are, because... It's just going to make them not want to get help. It's going to make them not want to talk to a professional. Because that's what we want. We want Flickr to talk to a professional. That's what we want. That is what we want. And, you know, like, that's the best we can do. We're just random people on the internet. We can't do much other than, you know, say, hey... You should get you should get professional help. That's that's the most we can fucking do. We can do, we can't do anything more than politely convince this person to get help. That's all we can fucking do. And being aggressive, aggressively saying how disgusting they are is going to make them not want to get help. So the best thing we can do is either not say anything or say, "Hey, you should get help." Because that's the only way that this person is going to change. You can't just fix a paraphilia by not drawing artwork regarding that paraphilia. It's something that's still in your brain. But you can fix it with therapy. And that's what we want. Because, like, yeah, it's it's going to make this person stop drawing out of this nature. That's really the only thing that's going to make them 100% not draw that art. Because we don't know if they're still drawing and posting that artwork. We don't know that. Because, first of all, they could be drawing it and not posting it. Second of all, the account is most likely private, which means that they could be drawing it behind the scenes to their few Lollicon followers. We don't know. So we don't know really how honest Flickr is being with us. We don't know that. So that's why I want everyone to shut up with the whole, oh my god, you're so disgusting and horrible, stop being so gross and terrible thing. Because it's like, yeah, I agree. I understand and I don't blame the people. But it's just doing the opposite of what you want it's not going to make them want to change it's going to make them not want to talk about their paraphilias which is going to backfire when they actually need to when they actually want to get a professional to help them with their issues but anyway um i very much hope that you enjoyed this video i hope you have a great day and i hope the topics in this video didn't make you too upset um i hope that everyone's doing well. Goodbye.